Hey everyone, uh, Salesforce Shorts here. Today we're just gonna talk about adding in a no reply email into your org. So let's say for example, you've got contacts and you've got an email alert that's gonna send them a welcome message, welcome email. Um, we've got something similar in here. So if I go to email alerts, um, close this up, then we've got our contact welcome email. If I scroll down to the bottom here after clicking edit, you'll see that there's only one option here. From email address will be the current user's email address. So if you don't want, if you want all the emails coming from one, from your org or your company instead of the current user, all you need to do is go into org-wide, uh, sorry, what is this email? <laughs> I actually forgot what it's called now. Um, let's try address, yeah, org, organization-wide addresses. There we go. So just open this up, um, add an email in here, then just put in whatever you wanna put. So let's just call this company email, email address. Um, let's put in Katie. I like to use a selection. So just select pretty much what profile you wanted. I'm just gonna select the system admin for now and Hit save. So now the next step would be to accept the verification. Um, so we'll just do that quick. Going into my email. And accepting the verification code. So once that's verified, you can just refresh this, click the refresh button, wait for it to load, and there you go, verified. So now, since we've got that email there, if I go back to alert, email alerts, um, you should be able to see the contact welcome email, click back on that, and then go to edit, and now I can select the company email, which is Katie, um, this, this email right here, hit save, and yeah, sweet. It works. So now, whenever that email alert will fire, um, it's not going to send the current user, it's going to send the actual company email, which is pretty cool. Uh, yeah, if you found this video helpful, please subscribe and check out our other videos.